Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the International Hawk Migration Week. And I know what you guys are saying. You're looking at him going, you know, Doris, I think you went into the wrong enclosure. Um, you're right, he is not a hawk. This is Bailey, and Bailey is a turkey vulture. And I, we brought him out here today to kind of show you the difference of Rio, the zone tail hawk. So you'll see him on another video. But Rio also has the same coloring, and we talked a little bit about that. And for those of you, I'll just give you a quick refresher. They have the same colors. And especially when you look underneath, he's going to have a little more gray at the end of his wings. But from the ground, the prey sees the black and they see the pretty much, it's actually really dark brown, but it looks so dark it's blackish. And they see that coloring just like Rio. And the prey on the ground says, oh, okay, Rio's fine. He's just a turkey vulture. Rio on purpose uh, migrates or flies around with these guys. And then they have no fear. And that's when Rio goes and gets them. Now this guy being a vulture will not most of the time, I guess if they're super hungry, they might, but they won't kill their prey. They eat carrion or dead things. And I can tell you one of the reasons why. If you look at those feet, they do not look like hawk feet at all. They kind of look more like chicken feet. He hates that part of it, but they do look like, more like chicken feet. He's got the large toe, and that's more about him walking around the ground. He really can't grasp and hold or kill his prey with his feet, and he actually can't even carry anything dead. He has to eat it on sight. So then you go, well, how does he feed his babies? Well, he eats it and then he regurgitates it. And that's how he feeds his babies because he really can't even carry his prey. Now these guys, some people go, they have a bit really bad rep. Some people go, ugh, turkey vultures, yuck. But they are mother nature's cleanup crew. They're very important because if it wasn't for them, all the mice and the stuff on the road that would die, that got hit by cars, that just died naturally, they would just rot and decay and we'd, we'd bring a lot of disease on. This doesn't bother them. The most rotted, decaying, nasty, dead carrying on the road does not bother them at all. They'll eat it. It goes through their stomach. They have these really special strong enzymes and whatever comes out is completely cleansed or purified. So it's pretty cool that they can actually do that within their system. And the cleansing and purifying, uh, it helps two things. It actually cools them down because they do poop or mute on their legs. You can see his legs are really red, but you can see how white they are. It cools them down and it cleans them off. Because if you can imagine when he's eating that dead carrion, he's going in head first and feet first, everything's in there. So he does that to clean himself off. And he's called a turkey vulture over the, after the wild turkey um, from way back. And the wild turkey has a really red, tur red head. So that's why they call him the turkey vulture. So let's talk a little bit about migration. They are the most migratory of all vultures. They will migrate more south. And the reason for that is they love the sun. He is the guy, we're in Arizona, for all of you around the whole northern uh, U.S., he is the guy that's out in the middle of 115 degrees. We've had it for three weeks straight, it feels like. He's going to be in the sky soaring. So he's going to soar, absorb the heat. At night, he brings his body temperature down about 10 or 11 degrees. So he needs that heat. So he will migrate, and they will migrate by the hundreds. They'll just all go in groups and groups of vultures, tur turkey vultures, and they'll migrate to where the heat is because that's where they live. Um, because they need that to, to actually warm up, and they love the sun. So one really fun fact about the vulture that is not that the hawks really don't have is he has a wonderful sense of smell. If you can kind of see, he's pretty good on the camera. If you can kind of see his nostril, you can see right through it. You can almost see me right through it. Um, that is his sense of smell. He's got a great sense of smell. He can smell things a couple miles away when they're dead and rotting. So it's not true like they have in the old movies that he's circling, that means you're dying. That's really not true. The movies kind of tricked us on that. They've already have to be dead and decaying and rotting. And then he smells that and he actually, the turkey vultures will go get there first and it'll actually attract the other vultures, the black vultures with uh, less of a sense of smell. As a matter of fact, in the 60s, we actually found a pipeline leak. They put some formaldehyde in the pipe up in Alaska, and the turkey vultures found it within two hours. So they were able to fix that. So um, as you can all, always imagine, birds are very important in our ecosystem. And that's one of the things we do here at Liberty Wildlife. Okay, and that's it for Bailey and turkey vultures. Tune in again for our next one on International Hawk Migration Week.